need to make ourselves a phone call, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, is this uh, Larry's Landscaping and Noob Farmer Cleanup Service? Oh, you're Larry. Okay. Hey, Larry, do you think you could uh, come out here to uh, farm uh, field 31 and help me uh, with a little problem I have here? You, you can? You'll be right here? Okay, great. We'll see you here in just a little bit. Welcome back, everybody, to Farm Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to start up on our save here. And I wanted to show you that I am adding a couple of mods. So uh, we already had better contracts loaded, uh, which I think might be causing me a problem. I'll talk about that in a second. I also got a, uh, a round bale uh, gripper loader thingamadoodle uh, that fits on the quick um, loaders, which is what I have on my tractor. And I have a mod. Uh, that allows me to sleep anywhere. And again, I'll explain why I have that one too. So let's go ahead and get started. And so here's the thing about the sleep anywhere. When I bought the property that I bought, I assumed, you know, being new to the game and everything, that it would come with the farmhouse. Um, and more specifically, what the farmhouse does for you in this game, for those of you who may not know, is that it allows you to sleep through the night and pass time quickly. Unfortunately, I don't actually own our house here. Um... It's, it's, whoops, it's, it's on the property, but it's not technically a farmhouse because it doesn't have a place for me to, you know, to sleep. So I figured, well, I, I, you know, this doesn't make sense, right? Because I bought the entire property and, and, and the house is on the property and it, you know, it should be my house. And so to get around that, I'm just going to use the sleep anywhere mod to sleep. However, I will only use it while I'm at the house, okay? So that way it'll it'll basically be as if I did have uh, an actual farmhouse. Uh, one other thing I considered doing is buying a farmhouse and put it on the property, but but the problem with that is I is I can't remove this. There's there might be like you know some kind of an editor that I could load up that would let me do that, but I don't know how to do that at this point. Um, because if I could remove this, then I would then I would buy a farmhouse and put it on the property. Uh, but even that is, is in my opinion, and, you know, from a role-playing point of view, st still not something I should have to do because, you know, technically I did buy this house when I bought the property. Okay, so anyway, uh, my quick fix for that, like I said, is to just use the Sleep Anywhere mod. And basically what I can do is come up to here and put the help thingy on. And then I can press left shift plus Z to sleep. But here again, um, I won't do that unless I'm actually physically present here at the house. Okay, so why am I concerned with sleeping? Well, here's the thing. I have not been able to get any contracts to come up. Um, I don't know if better contracts broke something, uh, but I, you know, I've, I've probably logged out out and back in at least a dozen times <clears throat> and you know before i had loaded this mod you know after i did that two or three times a contract would come up now it doesn't so i uninstalled the mod and then logged in and out again two or you know two or three or ten a bunch of times and no contracts would ever come up um so <clears throat> i don't know what to do about that but you know, the thing is, is if we don't have contracts at this point, there is absolutely nothing for me to do. I have no way to earn any money because I can't harvest our crops here until October or November. Um, And, you know, no contracts, no work, no money. And so we're kind of stuck, you know, until that happens. So I figured, all right, well, if I indeed have broken the contracts, then that could ultimately mean the end of this particular playthrough and we would have to start over but what might happen is if we if we advance time um maybe the contracts will start to come back i don't know um because normally what's supposed to happen I, I know that if i didn't have the mod you know the contracts just after a while they dry up and they don't come back till later i understand that but the mod is supposed to generate new contracts with this button and it doesn't do that you know, I'm just sitting here and I can spam it for all day long and it's doesn't it's not gonna do anything. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fast forward time using our, our sleep option so that we can then harvest our beets 
And so one of two things will happen. We'll either then be able to harvest our beets and make some money, or maybe, you know, by fast forwarding time, some contracts will show back up. So hello, sir. How are you today? Loving the stash, man. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's about all we can do, you guys. I, I don't know what else to do at this point because I'm just, I'm stuck. Without contracts, there's no way for me to make any money whatsoever until we advance time. All right, so that being said, um, oh, and I did I did get that other mod too, um, which I'll, I should be able to put on the front loader. Uh, let's go into the store for a minute and go to uh, front loaders. Uh, no, not the front loaders themselves, front loader tools. Yeah, here we go. And that should be in here. Yeah, right here. So this is $820. Uh, it's lizard but it's supposed to according to the description it's supposed to uh, work with a quick uh, loader so why don't we why don't we actually run down to the store really quick and um just test that out i've been playing um gold rush so i'm kind of in gold rush mode so i have to re retrain myself now on the farm sim keys so yeah let's run down there and and get that and make sure that it uh oh yeah i'm using my wheel now <laughs> make sure that it actually works now i think i don't know if i can order that and have it delivered to our place i, I think that's either a function maybe of the game or a mod i don't remember I know I can order it, you know, remotely, but I don't know if I can, I don't think I can pick it up remotely, so we have to come down here anyways, it, unless I'm wrong about that. Let me know, you guys, if, if that's not the case. Um, okay, so let's hop out of here. What is my button for getting out of the tractor? Here, turn that off, that button, okay. I have, I'm doing a combination of keyboard and mouse and wheel and stick. Basically, wheel and stick for driving and keyboard and mouse for walking around and stuff. Okay, so let's go to uh, front in uh, our front loader tools, and we'll come all the way back again to here. Why isn't that scrolling? There we go. And it's only eight hundred twenty bucks, which isn't too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should lease it first, just to make sure. Yeah, it's gonna cost us, you know, like sixteen to twenty. Four dollars to lease it, just to make sure, and then then we'll re return it and then buy it. Yeah, so let's just do that. That way we're not out as much money because I don't think I can sell it back for the same price I bought it for. That doesn't usually, uh, you know, work that way. Okay, so let's hop in our tractor here. Oh, you know what? I don't have. Darn it! I don't have my. My my loader attachment on. Shoot. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go back and get that real quick. So I'll meet you guys back here. Can't take me anywhere, man. Okay, so it will attach. Awesome. All right, so let's see. That raises and lowers the boom. That raises and lowers the tool. And the twist on the stick opens it. Easy enough. Very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop that. All right, so let's go to leases, return. All right, now we are going to buy it. So we'll go back to tools, back to front loader tools, and uh, 820 bucks. So, no, not, uh, yeah, we won't buy. There we go. Okay, cool. We got our new, our new baler, uh, round bale loader thingy. Now I, I do want to get, of course, the the big trailer, but you know, for really small jobs. And before we do get the the big pickup trailer, which I'm I'm not planning on getting immediately, you know, this this is going to help. Okay, neat. Let's get her hooked up. Yeah, that ought to make moving bales around a little easier. Very cool. Okay, let's go back to the house and 
we're going to, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop off at Mama Joe's and we're going to have some brunch and we're going to talk to Mama Joe and see if she knows why we are not getting, uh, we're not getting any more contracts and we'll see what she has to say about that and we'll get something to eat too because we're actually pretty hungry. Sexy. Okay, so we had some some brunch. Uh, it was really good. We had bacon, eggs, and a cheeseburger. <laughs> and uh, we talked to Mama Joe, and Mama Joe basically said that um, it is a holiday here in Elm Creek, and everybody is off work and relaxing, and there's pretty much, I'm not going to find any work uh, for the next, you know, next day or so. And so basically what we're going to do then is we're going to go back to our house. We've been working really hard, long hours, and we're just going to go chill, uh, you know, take take a nap, maybe even sleep for a while. And we'll just have to check the contracts uh, in the next day or so and see if any work becomes available. Okay, it is uh, morning, um, September the 3rd, and uh, let's take a look and see how our crops are doing here. Yeah, they're still growing. All right, we're going to run on down to the uh, uh, to Mama Joe's again and get some breakfast and find out if there are any uh, new contracts available, uh, some work for us to do today. Okay, so unfortunately, I guess everybody who is on... Hey, you kind of look like the girl in the video. Um, everybody who is... Uh, or, uh, apparently, everybody who <laughs> was on holiday yesterday is also still on holiday today. They decided they needed to take two days off. So, doggone it. All right. What we're going to do now is... I guess we're going to go back home. You know what we could do, actually? We could start looking at... Um, leasing the equipment we're going to need for harvesting our sugar beets. So why don't we go down to the shop and at least do that. Um, and then after that, I guess we're going to laze around the house again for another day because there's not a whole lot more we can do. Okay, let's uh, talk with uh, Sammy, the, Sammy the shop salesman. Okay, that's his name, Sammy. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> and so what we're looking for is uh, beet harvesting stuff, sugar beets, uh, or beet technology. Okay, so uh, we're definitely leasing this equipment, of course, because we don't have, um, you know, we're not like a full-time beet farmer. Uh, so I think what we can do is, you know, when we do beets, we have to, uh, we have to top them first and then pick them up. And I think what we can do is run this on the front and this on the back, except for we don't actually have enough horsepower to do that. Uh, not simultaneously, because that's 185 and that's 85. So we're up to 100, uh, or 270 horse, and we only have like 210. So that's a thing. Um, if we had a, a, a really big field, I'd probably lease a bigger tractor too, but we don't have that large of a field. What do these things do? Actually, you know what? Let's do, what if we do combinations here? Okay, well, yeah, we already know that that's what that does. If we go to here and go sugar beet, this is going to show us, you know, a combination of equipment that we could use for this. Uh, I don't even know what that thing is. What is that? It's an additional tank to increase the capacity of your tools. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a planter. Okay, we don't need a planter. This is a cultivator. We don't need that. So it's it's really just kind of, I guess, back to these two tools. Um, this Massey Ferguson has enough horsepower 
do both of those in one shot. But I think um, that's going to that's gonna cost us a lot of money. I mean, how much does it cost to lease this? Just out of curiosity. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, we can't afford that. Okay, so I think what we need to do is just lease both of these, run this first, and then come back and run this. Um, because, um, you know, just because we're, you know, we're tight on money right now. So that's probably what we'll do. But of course, we're not going to do that until we actually can start harvesting. There's no point in leasing it today because we can't do anything with it today. You know, the other thing we need to do too is we need, we're going to have to need, uh, have to put skinny tires on our tractor uh, so we don't damage our crops. So yeah, that... That's something I'm just going to do right now. I'm not necessarily going to equip them, but I'm going to buy them. Because uh, we're going to need that no matter what. So let's pull over here. And we'll hop out. Go into the maintenance shop here. And go to... Uh, you know what? Let's let's just repair too. We might as well customize. All right. So we want to go wheel weights, wide tires, narrow tires. Okay. So that's what we want. Uh, customize. Yes. And that puts the the narrow tires on. And I suppose we could just leave them on for now. Wow, those are narrow, aren't they? But with these, we won't damage our beats. Now, in the in a real world situation, you know they're skinny enough that we would just stay in between the rows. But in the game, if you have narrow tires, it just doesn't damage the crops at all. So that's the way that works. Uh, I'm not, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to do any work today, so we might as well leave these on because tomorrow is the first day of October, and we should be able to harvest our sugar beets in October. Uh, so that's just one day away. All right, you guys. Well. Um, let's go back to the house, or OG, I should say, is going to go back to the house with his skinny tires, <laughs> and I guess he's just going to sit down and, um, you know, watch some YouTube videos for the rest of the day, maybe barbecue up a burger or something, have a few cold ones, and wait till tomorrow, and we'll get up bright and early tomorrow morning, and hopefully at that point, we'll be able to start our sugar beet harvest and make some money. And hopefully, um, also, very quickly, some contracts will become available to us, or we might uh, we might be in trouble with this series. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right. Good morning, everybody. It is October one, five a.m. in the morning. We should probably put our light on so we can see what we're doing here. And look at this. Our crop is ready to harvest. Okay, so it wants us to remove the, the foliage first. You know, the other thing we got to do, too, let's look at something else. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to prices and we'll look at sugar beets. So Gold Crest Valley is going to give us the best price, but I think I think we have to don't we have to take a train to get there? And I don't know if that's going to cost us extra money or not. I'm not sure about that. Uh show price fluctuations. Okay, so we're in October. Now, what I had originally planned on doing is storing these beets until January to sell them because that's when the price is going to be the best, but if we're not getting any contracts, that means we don't... Oh, contracts! Woo-wee! Okay. It is working. All right, nice. Oh, man, that makes me feel better. I was really starting to, to, to worry about this. All right, what do we got? We got a, a nice plowing contract for eight grand and then a, a, another one for two grand. So, all right, that changes things. I'm, I'm, that makes me happy because, I, like I said, I was getting a little bit worried there. Uh, if we go back to our calendar... We don't actually have to harvest our sugar beets until we, we can go all the way into November if we want to. 
And if, you know, the longer we wait, the shorter time, you know, we have to worry about storing them. So, yeah. And you know what? We actually haven't done any plowing yet. We've done cultivating, but we haven't done actual plowing. So I'm thinking weeding, huh? No, they're not, they're not paying diddly squat for that. Forget that. Uh, but these two contracts will definitely take. So we're going to go ahead and take the, the more lucrative one. It's on field 31. We're going to borrow their stuff, of course, because it looks like that's a ginormous plow. Uh, let's put the details on here. It looks like it's going to take us about three quarters of an hour. Wait, why did that switch to there? Oh, because that just sorts it. Okay, so let's uh let's go ahead and borrow the items uh for that one. And we might come back and do this one later, but but we'll do this one now. Okay, cool. So let's go uh let's go do some plowing, man. Um we're gonna want to put our normal tires back on too. So let's start the engine and get some lights on because it's pretty dark here at five o'clock in the morning. Of course, it would be in the fall, so that makes sense. And yeah, we'll just wait on our sugar beets for a little bit longer now. You know, the other thing I might do, you guys, too, just to kind of help this situation along a little bit, is I might reduce the number of days per month. Normally, right now, it's set to three. Um, but I, I'm starting to kind of see why you might not want a lot of days per month now with the way the game works but on the other hand you know we can always sleep now if we need to to advance that so i don't know maybe we'll just leave it the way it is for now it really has to do mostly with the contracts as long as there's contracts for us to do and we can make money i'm not as concerned about it you know look at that thing awesome all right as usual let's just park our tractor kind of over here by the tree like we did last time so it's out of the way turn the lights off cut the engine and what are we what are we in today we're in a dutes far nice okay that's a nice looking tractor man look at that thing i like it one of the cool things about doing these contracts is you have an opportunity right to uh try some of the other equipment I'm liking that. Whoa. Okay, let's get the weight on first. So let's see, where are we going again? We are going to field 31. And uh, based upon the size of our equipment, it's probably a pretty decent sized field. Where is that going to be? 31. Oh, okay. That's not super terribly large. Uh, so we just, we can actually go out the back and just run along here. All right, let's do this. So I guess, are these, are these crops withered? Oh no, I guess they've already been harvested. Okay. Huh. Gotcha. So we're just going to plow it all under. Man, look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Okay, so, um, let's get, I guess let's get to this end of the field. And then we'll unfold this thing and see how big it actually is. I think what it's going to do is go to the... Off to the right, maybe, or maybe to the left. We'll see.
Okay, so it does go down to the right. Oh, you know what? I think we can... flip this around. How do I get it to go the other side, though? Because it's got blades on on both sides. Okay, let's go to the help menu. No, not that. Unfold plow, lower plow. I don't know, man. Okay. Oh, rotate plow. Okay. Now I see what's going on. I'm just trying to re figure out which buttons to use on the on my stick now. So it's that one there, and then... Those two... Look. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the lower option. Alright, well, let's do this. I guess we're going to... We want to be all the way to the edge of the field. Maybe not that far. Actually, no, that's that's not too bad, I think. Okay, let's do some plowing here. I need to actually be in a little further. So maybe line up my left front wheel with that first row. Yeah, that's that's exactly where we need to be. Okay, now now I now I know. Very cool. Okay, so we lift that up. Uh, oh, did we miss a spot? Yeah, we did. Darn it. Get it, get it. There we go. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay. We'll lift the plow up. Now, I think what we have to do is just flip around and then flip the plow over to the other side. Okay, so that means we do this. Okay, and lower it down and go. We might, are we gonna miss that? Oh, we just barely got that stuff. Oh, well now we're gonna miss because I'm not paying attention. I wanna keep my wheel in the first, in between the first row here. Okay, just like that. That's good. All right, you guys. Well, let's go ahead and get this field all plowed up. 
All right, something just occurred to me. I'm I'm plowing uh, too far beyond the edge of the field, which in a real life situation would be no bueno. Um, so I think what I'm actually supposed to be doing here is creating a couple of, I guess, head, headland rows or something like that. That's what you call them. So that way, you know, I can still plow to the edge without going all the way beyond. So we're going to do that. And let's go ahead and drop the plow here. This thing is so big, I have to zoom way the heck out to see what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, we're going to follow maybe at least once, maybe even twice. All the way around the edge of the field. So we're not screwing up, you know, and going past the edge of the field when we're doing our, our other rows. Just, you know, I'm new to this, right? <laughs> so I was, you know, I, I was doing this and I'm going... I shouldn't be like plowing beyond the edge of the field, and then it occurred to me that yeah, we need to we need to do it this way first. So guys we are finally done <clears throat> excuse me with uh, the plowing uh, for my very first time ever running a plow well we got it done <laughs> uh, that was fun though I, I enjoyed that uh, definitely we have one one little bush there but uh, there's something we actually need to do here so what we're gonna do before we uh, turn in this quest is uh, we need to stop here and uh, we mean need to make ourselves a phone call. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Is this uh, Larry's Landscaping and Noob Farmer Cleanup Service? Oh, you're Larry. Okay. Hey, Larry, do you think you could uh, come out here to uh, farm uh, field 31 and help me uh, with a little problem I have here? You, you can? You'll be right here? Okay, great. We'll see you here in just a little bit.
All right, Larry. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for your help. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, uh, like we talked about, please uh, don't make any mention at all uh, to uh, whoever that farmer was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this contract. Okay, thanks, Larry. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. <laughs> We've finished our contract, and it looks like um, our farmer buddy's already got lime on the field. Man, he's he's quick. He's super quick. Uh, so uh, we are done and uh, now ready to turn in our uh, thing. So let's go ahead and take the gear back to the shop here. And also, we need to fold this guy up. So, fold is not allowed while the plow is turned. Oh, so I guess we have to turn it back this way. There it goes. Okay, I guess that's folded. All right, let's return the equipment, turn in our quest, and then we'll see what the next thing is here. Okay, here we are, and it's time to go ahead and turn in our quest, or our, our quest, our mission, or no, mission, contract. Yeah, that's what I said, contract. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. Uh, no, not there, sorry. Here. Contract is completed, and collect the money. So we made $7,000 on that, which is great. Now, we have more contracts here. Another one. Ooh, one for $16,000. Wow. Okay. Um, That's a lot of money. I think we're going to do it. I think we are going to do it. So we're going to borrow the items here. Uh, field 70. That's probably an absolutely enormous field. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's take a look and see where field 70 is. Oh, yeah. That's a big field. That's going to take me a while, you guys. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, that's good money, too. So, uh, all right. Well... We're done with one plowing job and we're on to the next one. Look at that thing, man. So this one, is this one bigger? I think this, yeah, this is, I think this is bigger than what we had before. Maybe, I don't know. They're both ginormous. Cool. And then uh, this tractor actually has like tracks on it. It's a big old John Deere 340. Not that I know what a John Deere 340 is, except for, well, it's that. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a tractor expert though. Uh, that thing is cool looking though. All right, you guys. Well, here's the thing. Um, I think we're probably about out of time in this episode. So what I'm going to do is leave you here, and I'm just going to go plow this next field. It's going to pretty much be more of the same of what we just did. Make that money, and then keep working contracts. And you know we have three days until. Well, we have two more days, I should say, after today until we have to um, uh, do our beets, our sugar beets. So I think I'm going to wait at least, I mean, if I can keep getting pretty decent contracts for, you know, throughout this in-game day, October 1st, I'll probably just keep working contracts and then uh, we will um, probably do the sugar beets and maybe we'll do them tomorrow. Maybe we'll do them tomorrow on October 2nd. Uh, but we could, we could also wait all the way up to October 3rd if we wanted to. Uh, so we'll see how, how things go. But anyway, so thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.